Hello folks. Well you know the problem with having multiple planes on one transmitter is that if you have to send it back to the factory to fix it, you'll lose the ability to fly anything while you wait and may lose all your programs too. And having worked at Kraft Radio Control Systems in the past in the 70s, I know that firsthand. So when my switch failed, I decided to try and fix it myself. See on my homemade quadcopter here, believe it or not, it just kept pulling to the right. I kept trimming it to the left, it kept pulling to the right, I kept trimming it to the left, it kept pulling to the right. This is why. Uh, I lost the trim ability to go to the left here and didn't know it while I was trying to set it up. Of course now it's working really good. I'm going to show you what I did to fix this trim switch. And uh, again, uh, it made a difference so I can actually trim my quadcopter. My uh, Spectrum DX6i, I know it's old, but this switch right here, not working. This is the trim switch. So what I've done is I've taken apart one of the old Firebird Phantom radios and I stole the switch out of it and I'm going to replace it here and hopefully that will work. Let's try it. Early on there were trim problems with this. Uh, people were breaking the plastic but uh, Horizon fixed these and uh, that's not normally the problem anymore. My multimeter said the switch was good but with intermittents that's not always true so I changed it out anyway. And you can find these switches in most electronic stores but it would be a three hour drive for me so like any good marine I improvised, overcame and used what I had. Okay, I've replaced the switch. I just put a little washer under there. You can hear it working both ways now. Okay, let's turn it on and see if it works. It still doesn't work. You know, if you try every logical way to fix something and it still doesn't work, then the only solution, therefore, must be illogical. Well, you know, I've been flying this thing for five years, and through 20 below, high winds, rain, snow, uh, you name it, fog, and uh, what it looks like happened is, even though I have taken and unplugged this plug, it's obviously not the switch, uh, that has gone bad on me here since I just changed that but by shorting the wires out together here I got it to work uh, on the circuit board by shorting out the opposite side those pins and what I found was that the wire inside this the wire that's cut right there is uh, corroded or something inside the actual plug. It won't make contact or if it does it's intermittent depending on temperature. So all I did was cut this wire off and solder it to the other terminal on this side and it all works perfectly now. So that connector obviously is corroded, old dust, dirt, whatever. I probably never unplugged this thing ever and a good technician would simply unsolder those wires if he couldn't unplug it. But let's put it back together and see if it works. I'd make sure all these plugs are in good and tight. when you can actually trim it.
the wind off of the car and table is amazing. It just really blows it around. You can't, you just can't believe how much wind is blowing there. It's like trying to land on a balloon. By the way, you know, these little transmitter, when you take them apart, they make great little battery boxes if you just need 4.8 volts or 5 volts to run your receivers and do the testing and stuff. And the one I just took apart, um, it's got a battery box in it, so I can use that for another power supply. But you know, if you're just working, you don't want to use your lipos or anything, you know, that's how you do it. Just make a battery box out of an old transmitter. Well, I'm glad I found a problem in my transmitter because I was blaming the circuit board and the setup in my quadcopter. So uh, it's all flying good now. <laughs>